Hello everyone. Uh, today we will uh, present uh, in D365 how to apply service updates. So we will uh, log in into lifecycle service and uh, either a customer source or a partner source from where you can uh, download the service updates. So normally this VM which I have got is uh, currently 10.0.13 so I want to update it to 10.0.16 so here it is a uh, software deployable package inside LCS and this is the service update which is a huge file almost uh, 5 GB 5 to 6 GB so I will download it once it is downloaded we need to extract to a folder then we need to move this whole folder into the VM itself which is a one box machine dev box actually and uh, I will log in into there inside VM I need to locate the folder where I have copied the extracted folder and there I need to issue a command which is ax update installer dot xz and uh, with a switch of list, it will give me the version numbers currently installed on the VM. So these are various build number or version numbers and various services are here. So these services need to be noted. These services are essential for, uh, for an XML file where we need to mention these uh, services which are already installed so that the script shell will take care of uh, updates for these services so here is a file default topology data and here in the name of the machine i have uh, mentioned the machine name so vm machine name and all the services which are currently installed through the last command which i have issued once this file is updated as per services This is the default file and this is what is filled here uh, along with the services which are here. So what we will do next, uh, next we will uh, issue a command Th these are various so you know version number from 10.0.0 to 10.0.13 when i last updated and now i need to update to 10.0.16 so uh, after afterwards i need to generate a run book xml file for this uh, i have to issue this command which will take uh, the last uh, XML file as a parameter default topology data and it will generate an asset file uh, run book file this run book file is to keep track all the stages throughout when I will execute the command so uh, whatever steps were successful uh, it will be mentioned there and whatever the failed step we can start from the exact step there is another command through which we can do that So th these are the build number. So next, I need to execute the command uh, using the same run book. And run book, as I mentioned, is an XML file to keep track of various stages throughout. So I will start from here and uh, this execute uh, uh, command uh, will start the process. It will take care of the, all the services which are already installed. It will uh, back up uh, certain things, certain files and it will not back up any uh, DB but it will back up the files and you know everything already there. 
so it will take care of the all the stages we don't have to worry only the thing is there is uh, there should be resources available on vm i i would recommend especially 12 gb ram uh, because at db sync otherwise it will fail normally db sync requires a little bit more uh, ram to be allocated so normally it happened with me that uh, 8 or 10 gb was not uh, sufficient so it failed and then i needed to execute from the same step so on the right hand side you can see if you want to rerun the step uh, so you need to mention the step at which it was failed and that can easily be detected by issuing same execute command or you can see in the run book itself whatever the step was failed so you need to execute from that step so the shell is in the sequence manner it is going through step 1 to uh, maybe 60 to 70 steps are there resources will be consumed as there is a, a resource you know heavy operation so it will uh, bring the ram at full uh, capacity fully occupied so it is upgrading the aws service right now and there are various step you need to just uh, wait and uh, normally 12 gb uh, with four uh, processor cores and uh, this is my laptop machine Uh, which is uh, 10th generation core i7 and uh, it took i think 4 hours almost and uh, since it was a vm so it took almost 3 to 4 hours so you need to i mean keep it somewhere so that it is running its own op operations if your processor is good one so it will uh, surely uh, complete sooner and quicker so there are various step now ex executing step 20 and uh, which is aws service basically this uh, shell script uh, will take care of everything so the steps were completed and uh, right now i am showing you the list of uh, you know build number and it is now updated the builds are updated <coughs> so i will compare here on the right hand side you can see at the bottom most part it is the latest one and previous it was 10.0.13 and also we can check here in about uh, dialog the uh, product version is very clearly mentioned 10.0.16 and uh, update 40 is mentioned here so it means the uh, aos has been updated binaries and kernel as well as both things are updated so we need to just uh, also uh, take care that reporting service and you know financial reports or management reporter is working fine uh, for that reason i usually check uh, you know vendor ba uh, based data report uh, which is my habit every time whenever i i mean uh, we we start aws or install and uh, service i always check reporting to vendor based data because it's simple report so just i need to execute it looks like it is working ssrs report yeah it is working then i will go to gl in gl financial reports okay now from here i can check management reporter the dialog is popping up and you know things are going smooth i need to give my login id <laughs> the same as my admin account here going for authentication and it is it has popped up and a report designer is here we can check it is working smoothly so it means everything is fine and our uh, updates have been applied 10.0.16 is new build or version number version is same 10 but build number is 16 which will match as our production server on 
yes. So this is uh, it. Hope you enjoyed the video and it's very straightforward process if you want to update a VM. But uh, definitely on LCS, if you want to update UAT, then it's uh, separate through LCS, you need to apply the patches. This is only for 